Like my wife, Dorothy's over there. Hi! I'm gonna make us some lunch and we're gonna craft. So here, I'll show you what I'm making. Nothing fancy. So, got some nice Kaiser buns. And got some, well, pasta sauce. Tomato and basil is what, oh shoot, I got the wrong spoon to go in there. So I'll just pour it. <laughs> there we go. I like lots of sauce. Whether she does or not, doesn't matter. I'm making it. <laughs> That's true. That's good to me. <laughs> Besides, Dorothy's in income pooped this morning. It took me a long time to get here. <laughs> a lot longer than I anticipated. Yeah. Oh, well. All right. Now. Let's write this in my hands today, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Let's put a layer of matzo cheese. And then I've got onions and tomatoes. Onions and tomatoes. And I've got ham and pepperoni. Yum, yum. That's what I got for toppings today. Well, I'm sure there's probably a little bit of peppers in the fridge, but this is enough. Oh, this looks good. This is good enough. <laughs> oh, Bertie, you're killing me. <laughs> A little extra pepperoni. Okay. Then, I'm going to put a splash more of sauce on top because these buns soak up the sauce. Then I'm gonna put more cheese. There we go. Then I'm going to butter the top of the bun with some garlic. throw that in the oven for I don't know till everything's melted we'll show you when it comes out while that's cooking I got starry time it's turned out good but it started out bad so Hannah our daughter Hannah I have a hair in my face has a cat he's only two years old she actually rescued him from like a hoarder type situation was not good at all when he was five weeks old. Mm. Anyways, his name's Bruce. Over the weekend, she noticed that he wasn't using the litter box and he was, he had thrown up a few times mm. and he was just miserable. Mm. Well, they have this armchair that they got given secondhand, and whoever had it before them had a cat and it was scratched. So, you know, it's it, no big deal. No big deal. So, anyway, they took him to the vets yesterday morning. He was so scared that they had to put him under to do the exam to see what was going on. And then 
they found out that he had actually ingested some of the fuzz from inside the couch. Mm. So he was bound right up because of this, like, the fuzzy stuff, stuffing. So he had to have surgery yesterday. So she could have brought him home last night, but between the anesthetic that he had to be have when he was being tested and then the anesthetic from the surgery like humans we all wake up differently from from anesthetic and he woke up angry mm. and snipped at one of the people so the vet didn't want to send him home until today when it was all worn off mm -hmm. so anyways um, yeah, that's what they found was this fuzz in his gut. So, Hannah has a dear friend that does TikTok. I, can, I don't know the link. I, if I can, if Kevin can find it and stuff, maybe he can put it in the description box. But, because this lady needs to be thanked. So, she has, she has a friend that's a TikToker here in Canada somewhere. She, so, you know, her and Hannah were talking and everything. This surgery come out to like $2,000 or more. I forget, something like that. It was, this lady, while Hannah was dealing with all this yesterday, went on her TikTok live and was just saying, hey, you know, my friend's going through this, you know, she needs prayers, that kind of stuff. People started asking, like, can I have Hannah's email address? I'd like to make, you know, send her a little donation. So somebody did send her, like, $50, right, in in her um, e-transfer. So, of course, Hannah's crying because of that, just the generosity, right? Then she calls me, and she says... So, oh, so the, the vet has this um, credit system where this credit system pays your bill and then you make payments to them. So she was accepted for that. So the vet phones just prior to the surgery and says, you know, you were accepted. Um, did you want to go through with the surgery? She says, yes. Then the vet says, by the way, we had an anonymous donor of $500. <laughs> because somebody had said on the thing, like, well, what, you know, tell us what vet, because, <coughs> pardon me, and this makes sense. Somebody said, tell us the vet, because... There's probably going to be people out there that would rather donate straight to the cause to know the money's going there. You know, great. I think that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So Hannah was like, she she doesn't like to take handouts or anything, right? So, but she was like, okay, I'll. So she told them. So the vet says, yeah, there was a donation of five hundred dollars. Wow. So then she phones me, bawling again, but not in distress. There's good people out there, Mom. You wouldn't believe this. And she's like, oh. Hmm. And then, so she tells Hayden. And Hayden's like, we can't accept that. We can't accept a gift that much. And Hannah's like, I don't know who did it. It's not like I can give it back, because I don't know who did it. Hmm. So, anyways... A very sad situation has turned out very positive and you know and Hannah is a, well, we raised her she's like us she would give the shirt off her back you know and I don't mean that as a pat on my back I, I don't know don't take it like that that's not what I mean we just raised our kids to be good people and uh so, yeah, she's she's feeling pretty good. So Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. 
So we're just waiting for her to call us back and tell us how the surgery went, all that fun stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. Wow. All right, I gotta go check on lunch. We'll catch back up. So here's our yummy pizza burger, I guess. There's no burger patty, but you know what I mean. Yeah. So. Ugh. I'm not sure how to approach it. Me neither. <laughs> It was a creation that I did, so. Well, I love making sliders, but I didn't have like slider buns. Mm -hmm. But I had these Kaisers, so I thought, well, we'll give it a try. How is it? Yum. Is it? Mm hmm. Careful, it's hot. It just came out of the oven. <laughs> mm hmm. All right, let me see. <laughs> but see how the bun soaks up the sauce? Mm hmm So. Mmm. Mmm. Very tasty. Okay, we're gonna go eat. I'm gonna meet you in the craft room. Mm-hmm. We're in the craft room. Woohoo! Dorothy's doing a different project than I'm doing. I am. I'm on stage one. <laughs> so you're making the gnomes that I made I'm the other day. I'm making gnomes, yeah. Yeah. So I have decoupage, some fabric over top of the jack-o'-lanterns to make the bodies of the looms. That effectively covers up the jack-o'-lantern and it looks like they're little chubby bodies. Because mm -hmm. I couldn't get just plain wood pumpkins. I had to get the, the jack-o'-lanterns. So oh, that's going to look cute. And this is what I'm making. I am making the Jenga block pumpkins. I'm just experimenting different sizes right now. So let me show you. So, I'm, so this one, it should take, so this one was eight blocks. So I'm no, it wasn't. It was 16. Eight on top, eight on the bottom. So I'm doubling that to kind of make a chunkier pumpkin. So we'll see. It's just coming along. It is. Look at Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's fun. So I made three different shapes of... They're going to be pumpkins. I'm going to do... One in the orange, one in the blue, and one in the warm white. And let me take you over and show you what Dorothy's done. <laughs> I oh yeah, you're not glued together yet, are you? I am not. I have made little trolls, gnomes, gnomes, whatever. <laughs> little gnomes, and that that is going to be a nose in that color. Yeah. So that's my next step. I have to let. Them cement dry. All right. It's exciting watching the cement dry. Yeah. I've got these for the stems and yeah, I'm decorating. My oh, so this is what I decided to do with the pumpkins. I'm going to make a pumpkin patch. So I'm just decorating them. I love this moss, but I hate working with it because it is messy. Interesting. I'm glad you have that camera painted that way. Because I'm trying to stream. One gnome. I am so tickled. Mm -hmm. Not quite dry. 
but they are so cute. And I like that I remembered to put a little band around their hat. Mm -hmm. Because that's just fun. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm going to cover the bottom with some white glue and stick this down and let it dry. So, rather than okay to do the top like this but so this project won't be done right now <laughs> yeah. let's see Dorothy's finished <laughs> I've got three little gnomes that's cute yep that guy doesn't want to turn around. He's shy. <laughs> <laughs> Those are cute. Oh, I, I am so them. pleased how they turned out. Oh, I love them. And they're made with a witch's hat, a ghost, and a jack-o'-lantern. Yeah. Wooden thing glued together, painted. And you get this really cute little gnome. Exactly. All right. I'm going to just put some glue on here and we'll meet you downstairs. We're going to go play a game. I forgot to turn the camera on when Dorothy and I were playing. We played Corkle and Skippo. She beat my butt. <laughs> Just point blank, she bit my butt. <laughs> yeah. There's no denying it. Oh, we're just waiting for Len to show up to pick Dorothy up. And then Kevin and I are going to have some chicken and french fries for supper. So we'll come back and say hi in a minute. Look what Kevin made for supper. Barbecue chicken, french fries. So <clears throat> we are getting excited because on Friday we pack up for our trip and we're leaving first thing Saturday morning. So there will be daily vlogs at that point. Pretty exciting, huh? Come on, I'm hungry. <laughs> <He's jealous. laughs> I don't want them looking at me while I eat, thank you. Hey! <laughs> Mr. Brody's waiting for his chicken. <laughs> anyway. Hmm. Thanks for joining me today. Dorothy and I had fun crafting and all that fun stuff. So look forward to the daily vlog starting Saturday. See you then. Bye-bye.